Here's a tip that my friend Josh Morin wanted me to share with the Curator community. So if you are looking into a, a URL, we're going to go into all these fields, but let's start with the URL. And you want to right click on it, and you go into plugin options, and then there's Google Cache, Cisco Talos, or Xforce. Let's go into the Xforce. And you get the page automatically open, that parameter pass, and see whether there is a bad data about it. In this case, there's nothing bad. And again, I, I don't have a lot of uh, bad stuff here. I just want to show the functionality. What about DNS request domain? So you right click on it. Again, you have multiple options in here, and I'm going to go into all of them, but let's go into Cisco Talos, for example. Then you get that page open, and this tells you that this is uh, from Cloudflare, nothing bad on it. But again, uh, quickly look at that. What about the source Mac? Let's say that, that you have a Mac address and you want to see, okay, what type of device is this? Is it an iPhone? Is this, well, you know that every Mac address is assigned to, the beginning is assigned to a few vendors out there. So you can actually click in here and you go into a website that tells you, oh, this is a Texas Instrument type of device. The destination port can reveal the type of, you know, malware or what is it that this thing is doing or, or what is the the service that is normally used for that port or there's any any one that is assigned in particular so you can actually again right click plugin options go to this site speed guide and this this will tell you right there whether there is information about that specific port sometimes the file name can provide you additional clues so you can right click on the file name and this is living on the lamp side, and it will tell you whether there is a match for that one. Generally speaking, the host name is something local, but it might be that they it can reveal some information about it. So go into the plugin options, and you have you know all the options that you can see in here. Now the other things that we could consider adding in here like file hashes to right click on them or event ID to look at the Windows event ID and but for now these are the things that Josh has incorporated how you make this uh, the same in your QRadar system well they are it's a very simple step you, you need to first download a file and you can get it from the public box folder, the link is in the video description of this and all my videos. Go into the Morin uh, folder and on the right click you'll find the, the file. But Josh keeps on working on this and keeps adding more functionality to it. So you may want to go to his uh, GitHub. Link is also in the video description of this video as well. And I also will put it on the box folder. Now, once you get that file, which is called Arial Right-Click Properties, all you need to do is put it so right here, OPT Curator Cons, and here's the file. Once you've done that, you need to go into the Admin tab and select this option, Restart Web Server. We restart Tomcat. You will not have access to the console while while Tonka is coming up, and that's what this. I appreciate so much what Josh Mori is doing because debugging this is very painful and disruptive. So Josh has taken the time to get all these things working, and he's making uh, them available for us. So you only have to restart that uh, Tonka server only uh, once. Again, he's going to keep on adding some more uh, features on it on the right click, uh, but I think that this is something that we all can use to save a little bit of time. And if we have it by just right clicking on it, we are going to do it more often. And we want to make sure that we don't leave anything instead of doing copy and then paste into, a, into another URL. Right clicks makes it a, a lot easier. 